We talk pitching on this episode of our Baseball Tech Talk. We got the Reds pitching coach Mark Riggins here as our guest. And Mark, you know, you see a lot of different pitchers mm -hmm. and not everybody fits in the same mold, mm -hmm. but there are certain things that all good pitchers seem to do right. Is there a way to, to coach a kid as far as breaking your hands before you really get into your delivery? Is there a philosophy that you have to help a guy be consistent that way? Sure, Chris, that's, that's, that's rhythm. Every pitcher has to have rhythm to pitch. It has to be a flow. So, you know, if, if I'm a pitcher here and I've got my hands down here, and I lift my leg, then my hands are going to separate at some point. Some guys are up here. Some guys go over their head. Not as many guys now go over their head as there used to be. But at some point, the lift leg and the hands have to work together. So if, if I'm turning wherever my glove is, whether it's here and my leg is lifting, then I'm going to separate out of my glove when my, my leg right here starts downward. A lot of guys get hung up in their glove, they start down and then they pull out and that's too late of an arm swing. Okay, so it's better to be a little higher because this rhythm of separation when that leg starts coming down becomes a better flow. This is a little tougher to pull out and have that flow. So we like our guys to have a little arm swing and so that when they separate on time with the leg, then the arm swing is, is good. Now, does it vary whether you have a longer stride or not? Sometimes uh, a guy has a long stride. There's an advantage because you're closer to sure. home plate, but you got to make sure your arm gets out of your glove in time to sure. be able to get it out in front. Sure. Every one of our pitchers has a different stride. Your stride is basically on the size of the, the height that you are. Uh -huh. uh, it's generally 82 to 85 percent of your height is, is the normal stride. And so some guys are out further. How they get out further is that they are dragging a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. And so if I, if I turn my foot and throw from here, I, I come down through here with my delivery and I drag a lot, obviously my stride is going to be a little bit longer. Yeah. Homer Bailey comes out right here at the rubber. So he's a little further back. Chapman was really, really long because he drug here. Plus, he was very flexible with his body, and yeah. he had a long stride, and that made his release point a lot closer to the hitter. Yeah, you got to make sure your arm gets out there. If sure. you stride too long, your arm can be left behind. Right. Some guys, when they stride, I look at a stride as if I'm throwing back behind my leg here, then that stride's too long. Mm -hmm. If I'm out over this thing and falling over myself, then my stride yeah. is too short. So when we hit and our stride is there, I'm cranking right on this leg with balance. So how does a young pitcher develop the proper stride? Is it just all about the comfort level? It is. Uh, for me, the stride, where they land, is more important than the length of that stride. So you mean the direction the of where The direction they land. Of that they're going. Again, it comes back to that turn with your foot along the rubber. If my heel is away from it and I lift my, lift, lift my leg, then I'm pushing. And so I'm going to be really across my body here. We want to try to be in a direction in line with the plate that we're throwing the baseball. Right. So. First of all, my foot, I look at their back foot. It's pretty squared up mm -hmm. here. And then I want that alignment to be toward the plate. My head is on line, my release is out here. If I'm across my body, then I've got to twist my body, my head's leak, leaking over here. So that causes a guy not to throw enough strikes. Yeah. Boy, good stuff right there. Basic pitching fundamentals. And if you get the basics down, you'll be able to throw strikes, repeat, and you may even someday have Mark Riggins as your pitching coach. We hope so. And we hope you learned something right here on a Baseball Tech Talk. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.